everyone i welcome you all to again my next lecture uh, that is on second law of thermodynamics uh, in the previous lectures i have discussed about some fundamentals and first law of thermodynamics so they are required to be uh, studied uh, well before this so i would recommend you to uh, if you have not gone through the previous concepts i would recommend you to go through them uh, and you can find the link on the i button mentioned on the top right corner so let's start so uh, in the first law it was uh, basically a quantitative law in that we conserve the energy but the second law is about the quality like the direction uh, direction law or the law of degradation of energy like it tells will the process takes place or not so but in the first law it only tells about how the energy will be transferring from one form to another but it does not say about uh, will it be possible to transfer it or not so let's discuss in detail so first law of thermodynamics says the total energy is conserved but it doesn't provide any information regarding the feasibility of the possible conversion as i said it is the second law of thermodynamics which provides the direction of possible energy conversation through the concept of entropy so this is new concept in this lecture uh, basically second law of thermodynamics is about more about entropy so remember this term neutralization it is applied first law first in numerical applied first in numerical to find out the positive energy conversion direction then first law so basically we are first concerned about whether the reaction or the process will take place or not rather than just jumping out on the conversion conversion of uh, conservation of energy so heat is considered as the low, low grade uh, energy and work is considered as high grade energy so uh, as i suggested that it is a uh, quality or law of degradation of energy so heat is a low grade form of energy and work is high grade uh, you can see in this way if you have a heat and you want to convert it in work then some amount of heat will be wasted so like the higher amount of heat is required to produce a lesser amount of work so you can see it therefore it is low grade and it work is high grade because it is pure uh, you can see it in this way complete conversion of heat into work is not possible but complete conversion of work in heat is possible as i suggested uh, as i said that uh, it is a low grade energy so complete heat will not be converted to work but complete work definitely can be converted into heat because it is a high form of energy you can take the example of friction if you uh, suppose you push a block over a friction friction table uh, which has some friction then uh, suppose you give some velocity and after a certain point of time or distance it will come to rest and all the energy that has been given initially will be converted to the heat energy by the friction so all the work is converted in heat uh, uh, this is also new concept uh, about reservoir thermal energy reservoir reservoir basically uh, are those devices or uh, not devices but uh, in which uh, like the substance that have infinite heat capacity so for source uh, like here uh, reservoir as source supplier of heat energy without any change in its temperature uh, suppose there is a source from where you are taking heat and its temperature is constant is not changing then it is a reservoir source is over uh, as, uh, as same like similarly as uh, for sink it is absorber just it is absorber and it is supplier just that is the difference the rest is the same so uh, energy without any change in temperature so temperature is not changed because it has infinite heat heat capacity what is q 
q is basically mcp delta t mc delta t so if this is very high and q is some finite number then this will go in denominator and this will tend to delta t will tend to zero so this is some schematic diagram of this you can go through it uh, it is uh, one of the imp most important statements for second law of thermodynamics uh, that is calvin planck statement uh, which said that which says that it is impossible to construct a device which operate in a cycle produces work continuously while interacting with single thermal reservoir so you cannot just produce all the work through the heat uh, this uh, single reservoir means that like you have this L reservoir from where you are collecting the heat and uh, only one reservoir is there so you supply heat to this engine and this engine gives you work but by first law of thermodynamics con conservation of energy this QH should be equal to level net and uh, this statement says that it is not possible to convert all the uh, all the heat in work because uh, heat is a low grade low grade form of energy and work is higher so you need to definitely waste or sink uh, give some hint heat in the sink so this is about the Kelvin Kelvin blank statement This is formula of efficiency. Uh, efficiency equals to output by input. Output is network done. QS is the input. This is input. And this can be written as QS minus QR. QR is the uh, heat rejected. Or 1 minus QR by QS. Or uh, this is represented here. Just the notation is different, rest are the th same things. Thermodynamics temperature scale or Kelvin temperature scale. Here it is important to use temperature in Kelvin. Temperature is not in degrees Celsius. Yes. Uh, this relation is uh, oftenly used to find the efficiency of a engine that is working over some higher and lower temperature reservoirs so basically this and this scenario is when when the process is reversible Kelvin Planck provides the concept of work producing devices in temperature heat engines and second statement about uh, for the second law of thermodynamics is glacier statement it is impossible to construct a device which transfer heat from low temperature reservoir to high temperature reservoir without consuming any form of energy it is nothing but basically a refrigerator in which your refrigerator refrigerant has a task to uh, cool your uh, things uh, that you give like put inside your refrigerator and uh, give the heat to the outer environment so from lower temperature to higher temperature energy is heat is uh, supplied so it is impossible to do it without any work and work is done in compressor basically in a refrigeration cycle so this is not possible there should be some work input. Glacier statement provides the concept of work absorbing device, heat pump and refrigerator. So basic difference about uh, between heat pump and refrigerator is just that uh, the reference frame is different. Like in the heat pump, you are you are here, and in the refrigeration, you are here. Like this is your concern system and in heat pump this is your concern system so let's dis uh, discuss about the new concept uh, cop or coefficient of performance or energy 
it is defined that the ratio of desired effect to the work input basically output by input so cop or coefficient of performance of heat pump is desired effect upon w in because we are giving w in as our input work. and uh, desired effect is uh because this heat is going here and this system uh, we are concerned of so this is receiving this heat correct so and w in can be written as this qh minus u l because this is basically applying the first law of thermodynamics here you can see cop of heat pump uh, can be replaced by this form uh, like we used earlier just th is used like uh, we divide it by the ratio like why we can divide it by ql so that it becomes qh by ql and we can replace the ratio uh, as i uh, have done earlier in the book part here so we can do this also when the process is reversible same for refrigeration cop of refrigeration is output upon input and this we get cop of refrigeration and we have to find the relationship between heat pump and refrigeration cop so uh, 1 plus cop of refrigeration equals to this this equals to this and and this is this and this is equivalent to cop of heat pump so this is the relation you can remember this this might be useful in some questions yes this is important that this relation is only web applicable when the temperature limit is same because otherwise you cannot keep the th and tl like comparable they are dip different if temperature is different so let's do a question the efficiency of a reversible heating means 40 percent and determine the cop of reversible heat pump so the process is reversible therefore we can represent uh like we can change this from temperature also and, and efficiency is 0.4 correct and cop of determine the cop of heat pump we have to find the cop of heat pump heat engine is given so heat pump cop is qh by qh minus ql qh by qh minus 0.4 of qh2 l like uh, in heat pump, uh, sorry, in refrigeration, we know that 40% is the output. So, rest QL will be 0.6 of QH. So, here you are representing QL by 0.6 of QH. And we can solve it to get the answer of 2.5. So, COP of heat pump can be greater than one like it is greater than one always therefore like here it is a plus sign cop of heat pump one plus co and cops can never be negative always positive so it will always be greater than one so this is like this formula is that used by this question like after we did some uh, calculations still here then it is solved to us can be cancelled 1 minus 1 minus 0 0.6 which is equals to 1 upon 0 0.4 and it is nothing but 1 by efficiency of heat engine so above expression is applicable between the same temperature limits again this expression we are using because so considering the same temperature limits both heat pump and refrigerator are known as reverse heat engine like heat pump also did the same task and refrigerator also did the same task taking the heat from lower into to, uh, lower temperature to higher temperature so but and they are reverse of heat engine but this 
only the reference point is different from for this like we consider the higher and uh, temperature point for heat pump and for lower temperature point for refrigerator so let's study about uh, one more uh, new thing that is classes inequality according to this the cyclic integral for factor uh, like cyclic integral of d2 by t equals to is that or equals to zero cyclic integral means over a cycle suppose like this so if this or this can be anything in any shape but it should complete a cycle so cyclic integral of any uh, process and its d2 by t will always be less or equals to zero it is for irreversible process it is for zero for reversible and greater than zero for uh, it is uh, impossible to have for any process i hope you like this lecture if you really like this and thought that that you really gain something please like share and subscribe my channel